After a lukewarm reception to its debut Arc GPUs, Intel is cooking up something spicy for its next graphics cards. Codenamed Battle Mage, the second gen looks set to shake up the GPU space. Get ready for more shaders, faster clocks, and stiffer competition against Nvidia and AMD. In our video today, we're gonna dive deep into the idea and talk specs, price, and when can we expect to get our hands on it. So without further ado, let's begin. Intel is planning major upgrades to the architectural design of its next-gen Battle Mage graphics cards. Specific details remain closely guarded, but the rumors indicate big performance gains are in store. Most exciting is that Intel looks set to double the shader count inside each XE core compared to the initial Arc Alchemist lineup. With 16 shaders per core instead of 8, Battle Mage will wield vastly more parallel processing power for gaming, content creation, and AI workloads. Combined with an increased number of XE cores on the GPU die, we could see huge gen-on-gen -gen jumps in performance. Early leaks point to as many as 64 cores packed into the top Battle Mage configurations, a doubling versus Arc Alchemist flagships. More cores plus more shaders per core equals a lot more theoretical teraflops. Feeding these extra shader cores will require expanded on-die caches. Rumors suggest Battle Mage cache could swell to a whopping 112 megabytes to match capacities found in NVIDIA's mighty RTX 4090. Bigger caches reduce latency and keep the shader cores saturated with data. They are critical for realizing the full potential of all those additional shaders. In summary, Intel seems to be turning its architecture up to 11 for Battle Mage. And that spells very bad news for the red and green competition. The performance crown may soon have a blue tint. Are you struggling to explain your idea? Your audience is not getting what you're trying to say. An animated explainer video is a perfect solution for you. Explainer video simplifies any complex ideas through engaging animations, transitions, voiceovers, and meaningful scripts, which all together create a fun experience for any viewer. And here comes Ten Studio, a team of skilled professionals dedicated to creating engaging explainer videos. With over thousands completed projects, we have the expertise to create explainer videos that break down your message and connect with your audience. Get in touch with Ten Studio today. Intel will continue its manufacturing partnership with TSMC for Battle Mage, but it looks like they'll be tapping into cutting edge production for this next gen lineup. Rumors indicate Battle Mage will leverage TSMC's N4 process technology rather than the N6 node used for Alchemist. The enhanced N4 node boasts improvements to transistor density, power efficiency, and clock speed potential versus its predecessor. By migrating to N4, Intel will be able to cram more shader cores and cache onto the Battle Mage GPU, dies without sending costs or heat output through the roof. Early leaks point to sizable dies in excess of 400 square millimeters for flagship Battle Mage offerings. Only TSMC's bleeding edge N4 technology makes dies that large feasible. N4 also opens the door for Intel to push clock speeds higher, potentially exceeding 2.8 gigahertz in its quest to catch Nvidia's finest. The process refinements seem likely to gift architecture upgrades some valuable headroom to flex their muscles. Get ready for a true high-end Intel graphics card. Early Battle Mage leaks paint the picture of a comprehensive top-to-bottom product stack from Intel. On the high end, whispers suggest Intel is planning a mammoth GPU with up to 64 XE cores and 8,192 shader cores. That would represent massive gen-on-gen -gen core count growth versus Arc Alchemist flagships. Though an 8192 shader count seems crazy high for Intel, it may still trail the ultra-wide graphics chips from AMD and Nvidia's camps. Memory configs are rumored to scale up to 16 gigabytes of GDDR6, providing ample bandwidth for 4K and 8K gaming. Power targets reportedly range from a modest 35 watts for mainstream laptop chips, all the way up to a scintillating 400 watts for fire-breathing enthusiast desktop models. PCIe 5.0 compatibility is also rumored, which would remove platform bandwidth bottlenecks. While independent testing will provide the final verdict, on paper Battle Mage is shaping up nicely to take on Nvidia's RTX 40 series, 
and AMD's RX 7000 series across multiple price points and power profiles. The green and red teams may finally have some blue heat on their tails. Intel hasn't spilled any release dates yet, but the rumors circulating suggest we'll see the first Battle Mage cards drop sometime in H2 2024. With architecture and process refinements still ongoing, a late Q3 or Q4 release seems most plausible. But there's an outside chance we get our first glimpse of Battle Mage earlier, perhaps at Computex in June. One thing's for sure the anticipation is building. This year is shaping up to be a massive year for PC graphics. Between Battle Mage next-gen offerings from NVIDIA and AMD, and new standards like PCIe 5.0 continuing to roll out, graphics performance is set to reach new heights. With upgraded architecture, leading-edge manufacturing, and comprehensively stacked product lineups, Intel's next-gen Battle Mage graphics cards look primed to make huge performance leaps when they land. Will boost core counts, swollen caches, and PCIe 5 turn Intel into a graphics card powerhouse? Do let us know your thoughts and opinions as we'd love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.